from these tiny seedlings will grow graceful willows, not planted simply to please the eye, but for a specific purpose. But this is Suffolk, a center of the cricket bat industry. Here in lovely green meadows alongside running streams, willows grow in their thousands. And in this nursery, young saplings are carefully brought to maturity. When the tree is about 10 to 12 years old, it's in the ideal state for making bats. Having been checked that it's the right size, the trunk must be 10 feet long, the experts arrive to bring it down. This tree should provide two dozen blades, which is about the average. One giant in Essex, standing over 100 feet, made more than 1,100. The manufacture of the cricket bat is a curious blend of old traditions and modern methods, to be expected perhaps in a trade 200 years old. For instance, the splitting of the wood here is always done by hand, never by machine. Then the blades will be graded as just another stage in a long process before the wood block becomes the familiar bat. The willow blade is naturally tough, but it must be made harder. This machine does the job with a 600 pound pressure. When the blade has been shaped, it is ready for the splicing of the handle. This is made of Sarawak cane, into which layers of rubber are placed to give extra power. The splice will be so neatly fitted that even left unglued, a match could be played without the handle coming out. There are strict rules about the size of the bat, due to the easy-going regulations in the game's early days. When betting was common, side stakes of a thousand pounds were common. With those sort of sums in the balance, some unsporting gents would open the innings with a bat so wide, it would completely hide the stumps. Final touches cannot be given by machine. A craftsman's trained eye and instinctive feel for the right shape and balance does the job of shaping the bat swiftly and well. The cricket bat is almost finished. Twine binds the handle to give it the traditional grip. Twelve years have passed since the tree was planted from which this bat was fashioned. A dozen years of care and skill giving the ideal product, a cricket bat shaped for surroundings like this.